Welcome to the video series on research methods and analysis by data and research. In this video, we will discuss about the test of normality using JAMOV. Imagine that this curve represents our newly collected data. And this curve represents a normally distributed data. This is an ideal curve, a mathematical model structured with the assumption that the scores are distributed in such a way that the majority is concentrated towards the center of the curve and the rest will be distributed towards the left or right tails. While testing the normality, we will do a comparison between the data we collected and the mathematical model of the normally distributed data. The null hypothesis is there is no significant difference between the new data that we collected and the normally distributed data. Let me modify this hypothesis into a simple statement. The new data is normally distributed. This is the null hypothesis. And as per the statistical assumption of the hypothesis testing, we will accept the null hypothesis if p is greater than 0 0.05 and we will reject the null hypothesis if p is lesser than 0 0.05. By rejecting the null hypothesis, we may be confirming an alternate hypothesis that there is a significant difference between new data and normally distributed data. That means the new data is not normally distributed. Now we will see how we will do the analysis. This is Jamovi software. You can download it free, uh, freely from the website of Jamovi. This is an open source software. We can upload the data uh, for testing the normality by importing it. Okay, we will go to the import here. Okay, from this PC. And I have to browse. I am going to use the fictitious data here for demonstration. So I have chosen this and I am importing it. So this is our data. Now how we will do the normality assessment using this data? It's very simple. We can go to this exploration here. I am opening exploration. I will go to descriptives here. Opening descriptives. So there are certain default parameters here. So it will come automatically. Don't worry about it. So I will go to the statistics given here. In the statistics section, there is mean, median and mode, some skewness, kurtosis, etc. So I am removing median from here. I don't want that. Skewness I like to have. Kurtosis I like to have. Minimum and maximum I like to have. And, and missing I am removing. I don't want that. And there is Shapiro-Wilkes test of normality here. I can choose Shapiro-Wilkes test from here. Automatically it will come here if we move our uh, variables which you want to test the normality towards this particular column of variables. So I am moving it towards right. Yeah. See every all the details of emotional intelligence came here. Now emotional regulation. All the details of emotional regulation came here. Now I can copy this. Okay. For an easy transformation into a table, I am taking this data into an Excel sheet. I am pasting it here. So this is the data, a little bit of uh, tapping on merge and sender. Now things becomes okay here. Okay. Now I am arranging it properly two columns came in between and we don't want these two columns so I am deleting these two columns okay now uh, this is emotional intelligence this is emotional regulation mean minimum maximum skewness is here kurtosis is here Shapiro Wilk W is here this is P this is P okay probability P so I am removing this standard error of skewness from here 
you don't want to show it in the table standard of kurtos is also i am removing from here we are not going to show it in the table so this is what we want in the table so what i'm next doing is i'm choosing this control c and i am transposing and pasting it here okay transposing and pasting it here so it will come like this very easily it has been become a table now so this is variable so this is emotional intelligence this is emotional regulation okay um yeah this can be min and this can be max and skewness can be sk kurtosis can be ku and shapiro wilk can be w and this can be p okay now this is good to show as a table so i am copying this and i am opening one word file i'm pasting it here okay so this is the table which we want so i am looking into some modifications of the table to make it into a format which we may use to send to a journal okay so in very simple ways i am adding some lines here you can also follow the methods this is how i used to do and yeah and i can now it's a table which shows uh the normality of the two variables emotional intelligence and emotional regulation this is the table we created we know that we have to accept the null hypothesis if p is greater than 0.05 and reject the null hypothesis if p is lesser than 0.05 in the table the shapiro will coefficient for emotional intelligence is 0.976 and for emotional regulation is 0.906 these two values are the coefficients and these two values are the most important but to check if these values are indicating here is the p here p for emotional intelligence is 0.864 which is greater than 0.05 in the case of emotional regulation p is 0.055 which is also greater than 0.05 that means we have to accept the null hypothesis the null hypothesis is there is no significant difference between the new data and the normally distributed data that means the data is normally distributed that's it we have interpreted the results of shapiro wilk test of normality if you have any questions suggestions recommendations please write to d and r 365 at gmail.com